In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Ultimate Body Press and if it is the best dip bar for your home gym. So let's take a look. All right, so let's talk about the Ultimate Body Press Dip Bar Fitness Station. So right now, this dip bar is on Amazon. That's where I purchased it. It comes in at a 4.3 out of 5 stars, which is pretty good and is the Amazon Choice product for dip bars when you do a search there. Now, the bar as of making this video is $89.95 and has a total of 391 reviews. So for a 4.3 of 5 with 391 reviews, that's doing pretty well. So some quick information regarding the dip bar station, the Ultimate Body Press, is that it has 1.5 inch steel tubing. It is suitable for those who are um, 6'5 or under, 6 foot 5 inches or less. So I come in at 5'11, so I am under that um, height range or height limit. It can sustain a max of 350 pounds. I'm only 180 pounds, so I'm about half of the weight that it maxes at, so that's perfect for me. It also comes with a color-coded assembly, which means that you ha need no tools in order to make the dip bar station, which is absolutely amazing. And you can purchase a weight uh, dip belt and attach bands to it in order to increase resistance. You could also use, your if you have your own weighted belt, you could do something like that. But you can also buy a separate piece that attaches to the bottom of the dip bar station and has bands that attach to your belt that you wear in order to increase the resistance. All right, so when I got this, I decided to time how long it would take me in order to set it up, even with opening all of the packaging, including the Amazon box. So after doing the whole thing and timing it, it took me a total of 5 minutes and 16 seconds. So of all the equipment, this is one of the fastest I have to set up if there is setup required. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is you just line up these little knobs with holes on the actual tubing and then just snap right into place. It's super easy. Again, only took me five minutes to go over all the instructions and set it up from start to finish. So it is pretty quick. My pull-up bar for to compare against it took me over half an hour to screw everything in so this was awesome just doing it in literally five minutes from start to finish reading all of the instructions and everything to make sure that i did not mess up so it is pretty quick to set up and use all right so let's cover the main exercises i do on the dip bar station or the ultimate body press dip bar um, the first one would be chest dips so this is probably the main reason i bought the uh, dip station itself I also like to do tricep dips on my shoulders, buys, and tries day. I do body weight rows. Body weight rows has become one of my new favorite things to do to uh, get some strength in that middle back. Um, you also do. You also are working other muscles like your chest and back and shoulders to do the motion and biceps. Um, but body weight rows are starting to become really big in my fitness routine, and this is perfect for it. You can also do knee slash leg raises um, to get that core working. And you can also do L-sits. Now, I haven't done L-sits on the actual um, dip bar station yet, but I am going to try it out this week and see how it goes. Okay, so now let's go over some pros that I have for it after using it for about a month. Um, the first one, it is, it is a very, very sturdy piece of equipment. I've had no problems. Every time I get on it, it's not shifting around on me. It's solid with the floor. Um, just it's balanced well it holds my weight well I don't feel like I'm gonna break it and everything is very very easy to do on it and again with that quick setup time I don't even take it down I just leave it up all the time so I literally just take it put it where I want it in the room and then go ahead and do it and it holds my weight and all the motions I've been doing with it very very easily so for pro number two again this one I've been stating a lot but it is very 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 easy to set up total of five minutes um, and that is unheard of for most fitness equipment that you have to put together. So I really admire that they went ahead and made this as easy as possible to set up. The third pro is that it's collapsible. So when you don't want to use it or you don't want to have it um, sitting in your room, you can actually take it all apart and collapse it down and then put it wherever you want it to go. These are steel bars, so you still have to figure out where to put them in a room, but you don't have to keep it in its form at all the time once it once it's basically set up. Like for my pull-up bar, I can't really be taking that apart because it's screwed together. But for this one, you can literally just undo it. You just push in the little buttons, take out each beam from one another, and then you can put them where needed. So you can kind of hide it 
in case you don't want your fitness equipment all over the room. And then my last pro for this is that it is perfect for my height and weight. So because it can hold 350 pounds and can go up to someone who's six foot five inches, I fit well within the range of what it can do. And I can also increase even my weight so that I can push my strength to the next level, which is really, really awesome. So those are my four pros for the Ultimate Body Press Dip Bar. All right, now let's go over the cons. So the first one, which I think most of you are gonna have as a con, is that it is pretty pricey. As of making this uh, video, it is $89.95 on Amazon. That makes it the second most expensive piece of equipment that I have for my fitness. Um, the only one that was more expensive for that was the core fitness dumbbells, but dumbbells like any one of those kind of dumbbells are gonna be more expensive as those are like $300. But this would come in second, so at $90-ish, just under $90, it's still pretty expensive, especially for what it is. I feel like it should be a lot less money, maybe in like the 40, 50 range. And there are some out there, but this one was the Amazon choice. So, and it had good ratings. So I wanted to try it out and see it if I liked it. And I really, really do like this dip bar station, but for some, it might be a little pricey. So if you're looking elsewhere, you might try and find one that has high reviews, um, is the same kind of build and see if you can get one maybe in the like $50 range versus $90. And last con that I have, so there's only two cons, but the last one is that these are really thick bars. So if you're someone with kind of like small hands or something like that, this might be really difficult for you. It's even kind of difficult for me at some times. So like if, I, like if I'm doing my, my last reps, it's kind of hard for me to like grip the bar because it's so, I don't know, the, the bars are so big at 1.5 inches that um, it's hard to get your whole hand around the bar to really feel like you're in control and pushing up. So I do like, again, the bar in general. It does everything I need it to do. But because the bars are just, I think, just slightly too big around, I feel like they were just like maybe like 1.25 inches around. I feel like I would do a lot better with it. But 1.5, I'm not going to complain too much with it. But just note that it, if you have really small hands, this could be an issue for you. All right, and that is it. So this is the Ultimate Body Press Dip Bar Review, and I hope you did enjoy it. If you have any questions regarding the dip bar, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll gladly answer them for you. And also, please go and like and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this on equipment that I use each and every day in order to get fit at home without a gym membership. So again, I hope you guys liked the review, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.